Hi everyone, we're going to be talking about the elements of Stuart Hall's theory. One of the main parts of Stuart Hall's theory regarding meaning is the encoding-decoding model. This model of communication was first developed in 1973, and it offers a theoretical approach of how media messages are produced, distributed, and interpreted. His model claims that TV and other media audi audiences are presented with messages that are decoded or interpreted in different ways depending on an individual's cultural background, economic standing, and personal experience. As the textbook says, the traditional communication model says that a source encodes a message for a receiver who then decodes the message to understand the meaning from the sender. In this way of thinking, there's one correct meaning and there's other incorrect meanings. And if the receiver doesn't decode the message correctly, there's a miscommunication. Cultural studies takes an alternate view. The sender encodes a message in a particular way, but the receiver may decode the message in any type of way. The receiver's cultural and social location plays a large part in how they decode this message. Multiple meanings are contingent on multiple factors. In his essay, Encoding and Decoding, it's seen as a turning point in British cultural studies because it introduces the idea that television and all media do not have just a, sim a single meaning, but actually multiple meanings depending on the consumer. Stuart Hall emphasizes the active role of audience by focusing upon the complex process of this encoding and decoding model. In his essay, he proposes a four-stage theory of communication in which he identified the following stages, production, circulation, use, and reproduction. Production is where the encoding of a message takes place. By drawing upon society's dominant ideologies, the creator of the message is feeding off society's beliefs and values. Circulation is the subtle manner in which the message is transmitted. How things are circulated influences how members will receive the message and put it to use. Use is consumption or understanding. This is the decoding or interpreting part of a message which requires an active participant or multiple participants. This is a complex process of understanding for the audience. Reproduction is the final stage, and this is when audience members have interpreted the message in their own way based on their personal experiences and beliefs. What is the reaction after consuming the message is the state of reproduction. So, we are now about to move on to justification of the importance of the theory, but there's going to be a few visuals in between this slide and that slide for you to look over that will reinforce the ideas that we've talked about.